Let me give you guys some context. So two years ago during COVID, I had stumbled on a YouTube documentary about a young filmmaker in Uganda named Odeke Dan. Through watching this documentary, I saw how charismatic Dan was. He was compassionate and he was extremely creative, but he was not able to utilize his full creativity because he lacked the adequate resources in order to do so due to his circumstance and situation, two things that he didn't have any control over. So Dan would actually borrow an old camera from his church and he would use it to create amazing films nonetheless. The crazy thing is though, that one singular person that Dan met literally changed the whole trajectory of his life. Coincidentally, a videographer in Philly named Dan flew to Uganda for a project where he met Odeke Dan. He immediately recognized how passionate Odeke Dan was about his work, about his people, and about his country. So once he left Uganda, he knew he wanted to do something for Odeke Dan. So what he decided to do was to create a GoFundMe for Odeke Dan to raise funds to get him the proper equipment that would just be needed to give him a fighting chance and allow him to pursue his passion and tell the stories of his people in Uganda, which he was so yearning to do so. People resonated so heavily with that video that the GoFundMe was funded in no time. And Dan and Philly went ahead and purchased all the necessary equipment that was needed for Odeke Dan in Uganda. Odeke Dan was so filled with joy and just seeing his happiness and gratitude amongst him and his family and his mother just, it really honestly was, was very emotional for me to watch. So after I saw that video, I don't know, there was just something in me that told me that me and Odeke Dan would cross paths, which was crazy because I never had been to Uganda, didn't know anybody from Uganda, but they, like I literally told myself like, me and him are gonna work together. So fast forward two years later, earlier this year I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw a group of, of kids doing some amazing flips and routines. And what really astonished me was the fact that they were doing it barefoot on um, pretty much a landfill, like places where people throw away garbage. I immediately reached out to the page. I asked them like, hey, like where are you guys located? Like, what is this? And I got in contact with the coaches who I developed a great relationship with. And they informed me that they had the Kataka Arts Academy, founded it a few years ago. They were just really passionate about the sport of gymnastics and, and acrobatics. So they began to teach kids in the community and it just grew exponentially. So through talking to the coaches, I realized that they were, they were giving so much but they had so little, which really touched my heart. I knew that I felt an inclination to, to help them in any way that I could. I would donate my own money to allow them to have like extra food and extra things that they needed as necessary, but I knew there was more that I could do. And the number one thing that came to my mind was allow their story to be heard, allow their voices to be heard. And so I started brainstorming how I could do this, and I instantly remembered that Odeke Dan was also in Uganda. So the synergy was just, was something like I had never felt before. So I reached out to Odeke Dan, he got back to me. I paid him to go and film the kids doing routines and different things of that nature. And after that first filming session, he gave me a call and he said, Ike, please allow me to tell the story of these kids. Please allow me to record, please allow me to edit. This is something that it, it, means, it means a lot to me because these are my people and this is my purpose. And once Odeke Dan told me that, I knew. I knew he felt what I felt. So with his help, with his vision and direction, we were able to create an amazing documentary that tells the story of the children and coaches of the Kataka Arts Academy. So here it is. Please stick to the end of the video because we have a special announcement. Wano Muguanga, Uganda, number of Antuava Singa, Abalimu, Bavubuka. Yesonga Rua Chifi, wano mkataka arts, kwa sasa zeo netileta programu itaba anga wo, mungwanga, yoku igilizaba na abato, na abavubuka, gymnastics. Come on. 
Zokusinzira ku banga liye maze mchivi na cha fechino Echa kataka gymnastik Kataka gymnastik Habana wetu watandika na bo Bali vecha, nga veti vidida, ti vidida Nga vati ya Nga teba ina kwa gama mwa gazine Butu wa kanyo kuba vedamu Nga kuba laga evidu nje vidi mu gymnastik Oso sovela, sovela, oso fuka. Simon Billsi, oso gina no kumbiti inga, na hava na vola vakuma TV. Kwa kwa jana ndo wazana fenga fe. E kula we eventu yimu equipment sezimu, ne tutu onda o ngab mushroomu. Kuna no bula lavu bo handstandi, bo tuate kwa kugamba kumso ziba fe, ne kumfuna ya fe. Kwa sala watu ziskotu beko buntu buntu nato nato, bo tu ingiza mo songe. Kubanga, the two tandis say program when our organization when Zendaba to choose his own number and to one genuine you know Oksoka, our Zadde, but when you talk with Amasimo Kugamba, a man and get as a choku bidi, a van of the choku yum Zadde or cut watch a richachi, Yahuya gymnastic. Yeta kiso kusoma, ushake abaza dawa singa, tewe ina sete zuri dawa ana. Program eno nunji atera nganyuvu wabula tuino kusomozewa okwa manyu na mwemuli okubera ngate tuina facilitation nunji emara ebikoze sebwa tebidi ku standard atemyo ebye nyini tubirina bana bato bayina basic needs ndala zibabetaga omuli okulia okwambala no kubasomesa kuba bana bato abasinga basula wano bali kutinga bachi bachi fuli dadala hope yawe Welcome to our house. This is our residence here in Kate. We hang around all these guys. This is our sitting room. And this is where we have our meetings. What meetings? Then this is where we stay. Some of the kids sleep around side here. And this is where I been basically sleep. Then I can remove my mattress and some of the other guys can stay around this place. Rasta. Rasta for life. Yeah, man. Yeah, please. 
Kuchitunduchafejetutuweningira mu. In a program nungi, abana abanji, eba bafunye mu bafunye subi. When songa nti abasinga bavade tebai na biyakola, tebai na ebasula, tu bafuni decho kulia. Nebi go nengo yene nebi na bi tsobo de bakolera, okuba igiza gymnastics. Na ye, tetu ina bi kuzesi ba bi mala, na bi tsobo la tu yamba tu kiri zabi rotori. My name is Osuta John Paul. I am 14 years old. This program has helped me to know like more skills about gymnastics and even to interrupt with some people here. It has lifted up my self-esteem. When I came here, I was in, in fear, but now I am free to people. Gala Okubunisa on the Nuga gymnastics. Mudis Tizo Nazona is the one of Uganda. Naye Gavivano, when a ground year fan of Jamula by Nayo Nawano, Wagan do Kuvanga by gymnastics, never athletes, Abana competing and nationals, Mu Olympic season as on Nazi Nabirangao, Bodimuru and Digonagona and Muguanga. A language of Cho, two so visa. Ne ensi ya fe no fa ba genda ngodi chi kidira mubudi shini chona chona echina banga chivao ngachi di mutendi agua dimuna six one mu Uganda. My name is Noma Adam. My name is Osuta John Paul. My name is Bagay Arunad. My name is Ozima Kulep. My name is Sonko Muhammad. My name is Mayanja Eric. My name is Sugudan Mutsi. My name is Noma Yassis. My name is Gamgisha Emani. <coughs> My name is Wismar Suleiman. My name is Ojamo Silvestri. My name is Mwangu Alex. My name is Zakwa Mwos. My name is Swale Aziz. Oh my name is Arika Pitt. My name is Nyango Madafi. My name is Nabi Dress. My name is Yunus Light. We are the Thank you for sticking around to this part in the video. I need your help. I can't stop thinking about how if these kids were born in the United States, with the same access to resources and opportunities that I had, I have no doubt that a lot of these children would be Olympic level athletes. But because of their circumstances and situation, similar to Dan, they just will, would never have the opportunity to, to really carry out their purpose or their passion. So I created a GoFundMe with the goal of providing them with basic resources, but with the overarching goal of really building a facility in Kampala, Uganda, where these children can go and live, learn, compete, and just thrive in general. And it's a, a very big goal, but 
I think that it's possible with community. There's power in community and there's, there's strength in numbers. So if you have it in your heart to give, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, this is a project that I'm I'm very passionate about life. This is really what I feel like my purpose is through and through. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to help these kids and to allow their stories to be heard. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And from the bottom of my heart, I love every single one of you. Bye. Let's go. Say you win,